Today on the Mandroid Show. So many rumors and leaks, I don't know what's real. SMS. SMS. Seriously, the ego on these guys, I mean, jeez. They're, now they're gonna have, well, they probably got really small. Oh. What's happening, my Android friends? Welcome to Tuesday's episode of the Mandroid Show. I am David, of course, your Mandroid host. Gonna bring you some useless knowledge of Android-isms and what not. Say, what, what happened to my face? Why is it stuck? I appreciate you guys clicking in, so let's get started. Nexus 5, Nexus 5, Nexus 5. Nexus 5. First over the weekend we had the Nexus 5 service manual leak out that confirmed specs and confirmed that it's gonna be a rock and beast but it's gonna have a tiny little camera but it's got the uh, the OIS stabilization camera thing that makes it better. Yes the service manual did leak confirming that it will have a 4.95 inch display a 2.3 gigahertz Snapdragon 800 processor with a 2300 milliamp battery which is it's got that 1080 display, 1080p, and that's kind of small. But then there's rumors that they're gonna have a 3000 milliamp variant for the 32 gigabyte one. The 2300 will be the uh, 16 gigabyte one. So a little weird because that rumor started going out there, what, like yesterday, day before, whatnot. But uh, if you look at the FCC filing, it does not have it in there. So I think people are getting a little mixed up, but who knows, maybe they will. It could be pretty smart, you know, for Google to have a variant, like, cause people will probably pay $100 more to get twice the storage as well as more battery life. And it also, it seems that the pricing has finally leaked for the Nexus 5. It's looking like the 16 gigabyte version will be $300. And if you wanna upgrade to the 32, it'll be, $400, so yeah, not too bad. I mean, that's, I think everybody was wondering what the pricing was be. They're gonna hope it was similar to the Nexus 4, but it's looking like $300 here, folks. Don't don't take my word on it. You know, I think it was Phone Arena that got the tip saying that that was going to be the price. So if you guys have heard anything, or let me know what you guys think too, down below in the balls area, you're still gonna get a Nexus 5, even after all this information, everywhere, specs, pricing, rumors, What's real? I don't know anymore. Google Hangouts 1.3 will soon be upon us and it might finally have some SMS integration. Yes, you'll get your text messages through there. Then you don't have to have text message anymore. Remember when there was like, what, four, three different messaging apps? You had Google Talk, you had your text messaging, and you had Google Plus Messenger. Now it's all just Google Hangouts just came in and started swallowing it all like a big black hole. Yes, these screenshots right here indicate that yes, there's going to be text message integration, so yay. Um, I'm kind of wondering though, because we were actually talking about this too, um, when this happens, it might strictly just be for any phones that are running, you know, AOSP, because different UIs, different skins, I guess you could say, they might not be able to do that quite yet. I mean, we were talking about it, I mean, it might happen, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a brilliant man when it comes to all that stuff, but that's just what we were talking about, and that might be the case. I almost fell backwards, see that? <laughs> I shouldn't drink before shows. Let me know what you guys think, though, about the Google Hangouts. Are you excited for SMS integration? So you don't have, you can just have one clean app for everything. Let me know what you think. And then Samsung, 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 Samsung. Yeah, they don't want Google to just have their own stuff. No, it looks like Samsung's gonna have their very own version of Google Glass, but what is it gonna be called? S Glass? Yeah, because they call everything else S for what? Sh Just kidding, guys, but let's face it, S Voice, it's sh This is was confirmed by Eldar Mutsural, but I don't know if his name is very difficult to pronounce, but he did confirm this, and it says that this new glass, Samsung Glass, will be out mid-April to May, something like that, of next year, so we'll see what happens. If we get any more word on this, we will let you know, and that's all the Android news I wanted to talk about today. Actually, no, it's not. I forgot about Sense 5.5 screenshots. Whoop! Yeah, it's looking Sense-like. This it seems with Sense 5.5, HTC actually listened to all the gripes that all the users had, especially about Blink Feed. Yes, you can finally toggle Blink Feed and remove it off your home screen. Yay! Even though Blink Feed is not that bad. I mean, I don't use it because I have, you know, a paranoid Android ROM on my thing, but, you know, if I stuck with Sense, I'd probably still 
reference it, look at it. I mean, it's pretty cool. They, they've actually added more categories to Blink Feed as well. And I guess they, they're gonna add the dual camera mode so you can have like a panorama slash maybe photosphere mode because they're, they're naming it Panorama Plus. So this might be their version of Photosphere. Who knows? Pretty exciting stuff for anybody who likes, who's liking the new Sense. There's going to be more features added to it with Sense 5.5. No word on when they're going to start rolling it out, but hopefully pretty soon. Well, all right, guys, that's all the Android news I wanted to talk about today. Make sure you hit that like, thumbs up button if you like today's show. Subscribe to the Android Spin channel if you have not already. And please subscribe to my other channel, The Film Junkie Movie News film reviews and those autocorrect fails and I also started a film junkie website where I actually post movie news as well as my videos on there I try to post a bunch of crap yeah so check it out I'll have the link down below as well as those autocorrect fails you will laugh I guarantee you so the link will be down there below too <laughs> three websites now what can I say I like three ways well, Alright guys, I'm David, your Mandroid host, and this has been The Mandroid Show! It is kind of awesome to actually write about movies as well as Android News. I mean, I love writing about Android News and doing this, but I mean, it all started with Film Junkie. I mean, that's, that's what led to this, and I don't know why it took me this long to have a Film Junkie website, but yes. You can also follow, uh, I have a fan page on G+, I'll put it down there too, um, so you can follow the movie news and everything like that. It's pretty fun though, writing, finding stuff, leaks, like I found the Godzilla trailer, shh, 